Good day, everybody. So the topic for today is patience. Now this word has been coming up pretty frequently for me in the last definitely couple weeks, but over the last few months or so. And I can recall instances in the past where individuals have encouraged me to be patient or that word has just come to mind in some way. And just encouraging you to do the same. Consider those things that you are interested in having and building places you're interested in being that are not currently where you're at right now and just really having patience regarding those things and doing what you need to do, taking the steps you need to take to build to that place so that when you get there, you're fully ready for it, you're fully open to it and can appreciate it. How many of us spend our energy just being aggravated or agitated that we don't have that thing that we are envisioning or that we're intending for? And again, it just it's, a, it's an energy leak, really. And if you can really take whatever steps you need to take, do whatever exercises or rituals that can really instill that idea of patience, I think that would be pretty beneficial. I actually had been asked to prepare a dish for an event that I'm going to uh, in the next day or so. And this dish is pretty intensive when it comes to preparation of just the basic ingredients, kind of cleaning, washing, getting it ready before you actually even make the dish. And I initially hesitated to accept but then I thought about it and realized, no, I really want to make this dish, even though I had kind of a short window of time in order to do so. But I pretty much started from scratch and I could have gone the route of getting already made or prepared ingredients, but it just really came to me to start everything from scratch and practice patience. I mean, I may look a little cracked out right now <laughs> because I stayed up pretty late preparing everything, but. I put on some music, I sat in a comfortable place, and I made it more of a meditation and ritual, and it was a really great practice in patience. It took several hours, and there were times when I just thought, you know what, let me take a shortcut, or let me just finish halfway through and just be done with it, but in my mind, I kept thinking, no, you decided to take this on for a specific reason, so be patient, see it through. Yes, you may be tired the next day, but the end result is going to be something really beautiful because you put all of your energy into it. So it was a great practice of patience for me. And regardless of how the dish comes out, I hope it comes out really good. But what I've gained in terms of just that installation within me is a better ability to really step into patience and know that the things that I want in my life, I'm going to get them. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at manifesting them, but I'm also good at waiting until I'm ready, or at least my, my higher self knows when I'm ready for things, even though my ego might think that I'm ready for them now. It's like, nah, you're not. <laughs> so uh, just t learning to take a step back, again, be patient, do all the other things that I need to do to get me ready for that thing so that once I get that thing, once I'm in that place, once I'm with that person, then it's going to be even better than I could have imagined. So once again, I encourage you to have patience and consider those things that really require your patience in order for you to be fully present and work your way towards really being ready for those things. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later.